Welcome it back, everybody. This is video three of this incredible rhinestone haul. And um, I am still going back and purchasing more. Um, this was an incredible estate haul that, or estate sale buyout that my friend Ernest did. And then I am going in and purchasing all the costume off of him. So costume jewelry off of him. So this is just absolutely uh, incredible. This is um, the second buyout that I've done. Uh, of the costume out of this this um, this estate that he that he purchased, so it's just crazy. Um, so I'm super excited to bring you this last video um, and <laughs> take a little bit of a break, and then probably in a week or so I will be going back and purchasing possibly the rest. I'm not really sure. I think there's maybe like four more boxes, maybe five. So we'll see what we can get through. Hopefully it's getting to nearing the end. It's getting a little overwhelming, but at the same time, it's just an incredible haul. But um, I am uh, super excited to bring this all to you. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the notification so you are alerted to when I get these incredible hauls because uh, these are just great. And I, I try to get them as often as I can. Uh, so uh, this has just been great. And if you like what I bring to my channel, if you like these amazing pieces and you like the things that I purchase and you like to purchase from me, I do offer discounts if you are a member of my channel. There's a couple levels where you can get up to 15% off of all of the purchases that you make from me. So it is something to look at. Um, no pressure there, but it is something to consider. Uh, so definitely think about that. And I am going to take one quick second so you can screenshot how you can purchase from me. It does make my life a lot easier if you do send me the um, timestamps of the items you are interested in, as well as the prices I quote from you or for you. So um, please uh, try to include that and you can text me or email me and I do go by the timestamp of the text or the email of who gets the item first. So just so you're aware of that, I try to be as fair as possible. All right, so uh, with no further ado, I'm gonna take a quick break. You take a screenshot of how to purchase and uh, we'll be right back so we can get dive into this little uh, last bit of jewelry. All right, here you go. Okay, here we go. We're going to get into this last little bit of jewelry, and I hope everybody's really excited about this. Um, we're going to have to match up some earrings here, too, um, so that might take me a second. Uh, but the first piece right here, look at this one. This one's gorgeous. It has beautiful blue AB crystals, and then it has these great uh, gray carved cabochon navettes. I just love this one. It does uh, have this type of riveted back to it. Um, definitely probably like a 1960s piece, I'd say. Could be 50s. Um, really different, really unique. Kind of a flower, I would say, um, in the style. Um, let me kind of close it so it doesn't kill me. Um, and I'm going to say um, 30 on this piece. It's just very unique. And with those carved navettes, I think it's just gorgeous. So we're going to say 30 on this brooch. All right. The next one here, check out this green. Look how huge those stones are. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks like there might be a little bit of a scratch on a stone right there. Hopefully. Yeah, that is a scratch. Oh, that's too bad. It's a little scratch on a stone, but look at the AB on those. Absolutely beautiful. And that is the back of it. Um, it's kind of almost got like the little cupcake style prong set holders in there. I just love this one. Nice little dome to it as well. The stones stones are just huge in this one. Absolutely huge. And because it's got that little tiny scratch, um, we're going to say, um, I'm going to say 28 on this one just because it's got that scratch. It's really a, a brooch that's worth, I would say, probably worth more in like the 30 range but it's got that little scratch it's not very noticeable 
but it does knock it down just a couple dollars. So I'm gonna say 28 on this one, just due to that scratch. It is beautiful. <clears throat> okay, next one, look at this cute little, almost like a little snowflake or something. Look how adorable this is. So cute, and there's the back. Definitely got some age there. How adorable is this little snowflake? And we're gonna say 15 on this one. It is so pretty. Look at that, $15 on that one. Let's see, that is an earring. We're gonna have to find a match. This is a pretty little brooch. This has a mark. Let's see what the mark says. I like this one. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, very modernist, mid-century modern almost, like super cool. Let's see what this says. This is gold fill, 12 karat, what does it say? Twelve karat one twentieth gold fill, so this is really nice with it being gold fill and everything. And I am going to say, uh, we'll say eighteen dollars on the gold fill. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, what do we have over here? This is a cool flower. Look at that! How awesome! Love that flower. It's got a textured, uh, like a textured setting. The gold, the gold tone setter setting is all textured. That leaf is is kind of cool too, and almost reminds me of like a dandelion. And I love the AB on there. Um, we're gonna say eighteen on the little dandelion. Love that. Mm, got another earring. Oh, this is a cool little flower. Purple flower here. Also, um, textured gold, love this. It's a little smaller. Put that back. No marks on this one. We'll say 15 on this one, super pretty. Let's see, another earring that we'll need to match. It's another earring we'll need to match. Uh, I know that has a brooch that goes with it, so we'll wait there. Oh, here's the other one here. Look at, check out these earrings. These are really cool. These are climbers. Also kind of like a cupcake setting to this. I looked these up. I cannot find that these are like an un, like an unsigned anything. These don't match up. I really thought these could be something super, super special, but I really can't find anything on these. I love the pastels. Maybe somebody else can identify these. I just, I can't. But look at the fire in those. Like, look at the sparkle, the shine. I just love these. I'm going to say 24 on these earrings. These are massive. They're huge. And they are absolutely insanely gorgeous. So I'm going to say 24 on these earrings. And these are definitely climbers. Look at those. Love these. Um, here is a blue and opaline glass little brooch, kind of like a floral sprig, I would say. It's definitely interesting. That is the back of it, kind of reminds me of maybe a Beaujoules. And here is the front. I love that opaline glass. It just looks like it glows. And we're, we're gonna say $12 on this one. Really pretty. This is a tiny, cute little piece. We'll say $8 on this, really cute. Like that one. Here is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at those, I love this. It is, this one actually looks like it matches that one pair of earrings that I showed yesterday. That is gorgeous, beautiful leaf. Um, it could definitely match that one pair of earrings. Hold on one second, let's see. It yep, it sure does, it sure matches these earrings. So let's sell this as a set. Um, 
I did have these priced yesterday. I don't remember what I priced them at because, you know, I don't ever remember. That's why I always want everybody to <laughs> remind me and give me the price. Um, so let's sell this as a set. This is an absolutely gorgeous brooch. And there is no... Oh, is there a name on this? No, I don't think so. No, no name on this. No, no name. Could be, could be Judy Lee, could be Bojules. You know, both of them did a lot of unsigned pieces. Who knows? Could be anybody. This is really, really pretty. Really, really gorgeous. So, you know, there is a little bit of, you know, crazing underneath a couple of these stones in this, in the earrings. Uh, it does not look like there's any, oh, well, maybe a tiny little bit in the brooch, but not, not really, not too bad at all. So we're going to say, um, we're going to say for this set here, we're going to say 30 for the earrings and this brooch set. This is just, look how it glows. We're gonna say 30 for this brooch and earring set. And that's only because it's got that tiny little bit of crazing underneath a couple of the stones on the earrings and maybe on like one stone in the brooch. So, and what I mean by that crazing, just in case you missed the video um, before, if you can see underneath here, there's a little bit of like a crazing in that stone where it's not like here you can see it's completely clear underneath and like mirrored but on this one you can see that little bit of like a black coming through it's kind of hard to tell it's really hard to tell it you almost need to see it not on the camera but very very hard to tell but I'm gonna say 35 what did I say 30 or 35 whatever I quoted first on these Beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, next, let's do, what do we have? That's another earring. It's another earring we need to match up. Oh, this one's cool. This is old. Look at the back. It's definitely like a pot metal type of back. It's pretty, it's flat. So no, no doming on this, but so pretty. I love the jewel tones on this. It is gorgeous, and I am going to say, um, we'll say 24 on this one. I love this, the colors on this. It is gorgeous. Faceting is very beautiful. This milk glass piece is absolutely beautiful. There is the back of it. Not Juliana, because it has this type of pin back, but it is absolutely stunning. Milk glass with the AB, and I am going to say 28 on this one. Ooh, look at that with the amethyst. So it's different shades of amethyst wreath. And we'll say 18 on this one. Beautiful, beautiful piece. This is gorgeous. Is this the BSK? No, this one's not. This is a gorgeous little enamel flower. It's like a little flower bouquet almost with a couple little stones on there. And uh, we'll say 15 on this one. Super fun. Oops. Look at that little pastel leaf. Uh, I have to look this one up. I did not. This could be a Juliana. I did not look this one up. They did, uh, Juliana did have some of these with the little scrolls. I'm going to say 22 on this one. It, regardless if it is or isn't, this is really unique and really pretty. So I am going to say 22 on this particular leaf. I absolutely love this. It could very well be a Juliana. It is definitely, I would say, a D and E, just from the look of this, and it's got the, it's got the pin. Yeah, it's got the pin stop. It's got the puddling. It's the open back nevettes. Look at that. It is stunning, and the pastel AB. 
Oh my God, that's gorgeous. That's a sweet little blue uh, round. We're gonna just say, um, we'll say $8 on that one. It's a great little blue snowflake. I love the square and the round. That one's really, really pretty. And we'll say 12 on that. It's a pretty little heart brooch. That's really pretty. And it does actually have a spot right there. You could actually run a chain through and that could be a pendant as well. And so we're gonna say 15 on the little heart brooch. It's really pretty. That's an earring. Here we have a pendant necklace. This is very pretty. And this is very unique. It does have a little bit of like a weird thing going on with one of the stones. It's not verdigree. I don't know what it is. It's different. Oh, it's missing a tiny stone right there. That is the back of it. I can't really tell that it's really missing stones. It, the way that it is, it's just got that one little funky thing going on. And then this is the, the necklace that it's on. And that is the clasp, which is a weird little clasp. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or not. I'm, let's just say, um, I'm not sure if this is the way that it's supposed to be or not. Let's just do $8 on this. I'm not really sure if that's how it's supposed to be, but it is pretty. You could swap this necklace out for something different if you wanted to. So let's just say $8 on that. I've already had this this pendant or this brooch um and i do have it with the earrings too um it's really pretty this is actually a sarah coventry um it's really pretty and um i at first i thought it was a d and e and it is not um it is not actually a d and e this is actually done by a different company um it is, which is slipping my mind right now, but it is a Sarah Coventry. It's actually a Sarah Coventry marked on a cartouche, which is kind of cool. Um, this is really pretty. And what I did learn is that this particular style, this was also made for Sarah Coventry and sold in Australia. And it was sold in Australia with a different color. It was sold with a, I want to say with a citrine might have been done in citrine in Australia. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So if you find a citrine one like this, it was actually um, the Australian version. So kind of cool. Um, but this one is really pretty. Uh, so this one just alone on the brooch, we're gonna say um, 24. So I am a sucker for anything AB, AB necklaces. I thought this one was really, really, really unique because it had, um, it was a single strand, but it had these really cool, like almost like filigree spacers. And um, you don't see that very often. And is this marked? No, oh, this one's not marked. So this one's not marked. I just thought this one was super cool and different. Um, and let's get a measurement on this one. I'm not positive what the measurement is on this. But let us see. It is approximately 20 inches long. I'm just measuring the drop, so I'm just doubling it. So I could be a little off on it. But it's about 20 inches and very interesting. Um, so let's just say uh, this one's going to be 15, okay? Um, oh, 
we got a baby flower here. Look at this little cute baby flower. So adorable. A little blue center on it. Tiny little flower. We're gonna say $8 on the baby flower. This is a pretty sweet, awesome, awesome, awesome bracelet. It has one, two, three, four, five links. And these are amazing stones that go from green to the yellow. Oh my gosh, I love this. Love this. It has a fold over clasp. And the clasp is, I, I'm just double checking because I, I want to make sure it is not marked. It's not marked. It does have a safety chain. Um, nothing on this is marked, which is just really odd to me. Um, but it is really cool. Let me get you a measurement on this one. It is about seven and a half inches once it's on the wrist. So it's gonna be a little bit on the bigger side, actually. So seven and a half, once it's on the wrist. Look at that, just how it glows. Such a cool bracelet. And um, I'm gonna say 24 on this bracelet. It is super cool. Those stones are literally amazing. So they're reverse faceted, so it's the facets on the underside and it's smooth on the top. Which is cool because you don't want the facets knocking into anything. We have another amazing AB ring. This is also um, uh, adjustable and it says the patent pending on the inside. And I think I said 18 on the last ones in the last video. So we'll say 18 on this one too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here is another gorgeous ring. This one is not marked at all. And we'll say, um, we'll say 15 on that one. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh, that one's gorgeous. It's got the deep purple, the pinks and the green, and then the four in the center. And just look at that like scroll work on it. That's really pretty. And this one is, oh, it's Sarah Coventry. It's just Mark Coventry on the back, um, which I know, I can't remember how that dates it, but that does make a difference. So we're gonna say 20 on this one. So this Sarah Coventry ring is going to be 20. I thought that was cool. Normally I don't go with just the clear rhinestones, but that's a really cool, it's a lantern. It's just a plain little lantern brooch, but just because it's like a little figural, I thought that it was kind of fun. Um, so it's just a fun little lantern. And we're gonna say $8 on the lantern brooch. We have a baby heart brooch. It goes like that. And I'm gonna say $5 on the heart. This is a gorgeous, oh no, I'm sorry. This is a, a I thought that was a brooch. It is not, it's a, that is an earring. This is gorgeous. This is, check out this. So this is really pretty, it is, all faceted. This has all the points up. You know, let me do a little research on this one. I might have to do research. Because all the points are up, which is indicative usually of an Eisenberg, or I'm sorry, of a Shriner, but I don't know if I've seen Shriner in this kind of setting. But the points are up. Hmm. Has anybody else seen a Shriner like this with, in a setting like this? Hmm. I don't know. Let me do research on that one before I offer it. 
Ooh, look at that pink. This is a Karu and hot pink fuchsia ab oh my goodness love the color love that it's signed karu karu is beautiful i had a pair of karu earrings a couple of videos ago karu is very desirable they do a lot in the ab their structure like how they put things together is just really exquisite very well made um and so i'm gonna do um 25 on this one Gorgeous piece. Um, earring. This is a pretty little bracelet. Um, this has the crystals, those open crystals. Uh, these are usually Swarovski. And this is an unsigned bracelet. Um, this one looks really cool. It's multi strand. It's Got the two plain chain links and then the crystal link. And like I said, those are usually Swarovski crystals. Um, I, I, you know, I am unsure on this one because, you know, it's not signed. I didn't get this one, you know, from the store or anything, but it is really nicely made. They're nicely set. They have a nice little bit of fire, but I, like I said, I can't. I don't, I don't make guarantees, but let's see. And this is seven inches long. So beautiful bracelet, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bracelet. So I'm going to say, um, we'll say 22 on this one. Um, we'll say 22 on this one. I don't really know the provenance of this one. So we're going to say 22. So we have another beautiful AB necklace. Let me grab the grab the neck on this one and also let me measure it too really quick. So this is a 14 inch necklace. Um, I'll grab the neck so you can see what it'll look like. So 14 inches and it is this beautiful like teal color, light teal color necklace. This is really pretty. Um, very simple. It's not too like crazy big. It's very simple. It's very delicate. Um, and this is all that AB. Really pretty AB. Um, so we're going to say 22 on this necklace. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. We're making good time. Here is another really pretty necklace. Um, these are faceted glass. I don't know if these are crystal or not. Again, I am unsure of provenance on this. It also has these really pretty crystals. Um, this does not have a clasp. So this would, oh no, I lie. When I looked at first, it didn't have a clasp, but you know, I guess I was just being blind. It does have a clasp. So really pretty with those little crystal, red crystals. Um, so let's say this one is going to be, we'll say $20 on this red crystal necklace. It's very pretty. It could easily go with the bracelet. So that would be very pretty together. I mean, you have the round and the square, but so I don't know if they actually would go together, if that's a married set or not. So 20 on the on the necklace and 22 on the bracelet this is a really cute brooch it's uh what is that lilies and that is the back of it and uh, we'll say 18 on this brooch that's really pretty are matching yeah I don't think so yeah not yet this is a cool brooch right here love this this is a little ABV like Aurora Borealis V-shaped brooch like V for victory maybe I don't know it's on pot metal pretty um I'd say this is pretty old that's pretty um you know that's kind of an definitely old time setting 
Look at that. That is gorgeous. And uh, let's say, uh, let's do 18 on this one. I love that. Oh, here we go. Love these earrings. Oh my gosh. I love these earrings. These are very, um, another one, very Miriam Haskell-ish. These are climbers. So these are going to go kind of up your ear like this in that hot pink, beautiful, like fuchsia pink. These are the backs. I love that, that filigree, that gold filigree is just literally stunning, literally stunning. And we're going to say um, 15 on these. I literally love these earrings. These are so stunning and I'm sure people will be like, oh, where'd you get those earrings? And you can be like, they're vintage and you can't find them anywhere because you know, people will do that. That's the best part of, that's the best part of wearing vintage is that nobody else can, can wear it. Nobody else was going to find, I mean, it's very hard, very hard for anybody else to find what you would be wearing because like literally it would be a hunt be a hunt this is a really pretty cluster brooch these are always like a sewn on type of brooch again Vendome was very famous for these Miriam Haskell was famous for these but you know hers were a little bit different they weren't done like this um this one's really pretty um it's a little bit more cr I, I hate saying crude but that's kind of how this one is um so we're gonna say ten dollars on this one um, let's see. Oh, got some earrings. These are really pretty, pretty, pretty dangle earrings. Um, these are not signed. These are definitely older. Definitely older. I'd say almost like these are like 1930s. Look at those. So pretty. Again, these kind of give me like a Haskell-ish vibe. Um, these are these are great, aren't they? These are great. I love the emerald, but emerald's my birthstone, so um, that's probably why. Uh, let's say $12 on these. I love them. I love these. These are so pretty. Gorgeous. It's $12 on these. These are phenomenal earrings. 12 Whoops. $12 on those. Okay. Next, oh, what do we have next? This is gorgeous. This is another pretty old one. And deep, deep, dark Aurora Borealis. Those, that is gorgeous. Look at that, so pretty. And that is the back. Definitely an older brooch too. And we'll say, um, we'll say $10 on that one. Super pretty. That's an earring. Let's see. Ooh, these are, these are pretty, these are post earrings. Um, one has a back, the other one doesn't. I will have to get you backs, which I have plenty of. I have a huge box of backs. But look at that. That is gorgeous with the citrine. I Very, very, very art deco looking. These are probably newer though, of course. But look at those. I love these. So we're going to say, um, we'll say $15 on these. These are not marked at all. Um, this does have a little bit of a bend to it, but I got that. I'll fix that. There we go. It's actually... Oh, the back's just a little loose, but once it's in your ear, it's fine. So we'll say 15 on these earrings. These are so stunning. Look at those. Those are so different, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. Ooh, let's see. We got another gorgeous necklace. You know, necklaces are probably the ones that sell maybe the least often for me, but I'm just so attracted to them. Um, got a little tangle going on here. All right, necklace. 
Although this is a good color, so I'm sure, I think I might have some people jumping on this because we got pink going on. Pink, and you know, Barbie's coming out. We got the Barbie movie. So, you know, this would be great to wear. And this is a good length. This is 16 inches. So we got a 16 inch pink necklace. We got two amazing things going on. And look at the A, B on that. Look at, look at that. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. So that is a stunner. So we got this Barbie pink with the AB drops going on this. Um, and it's 16 inches. This is a rare color. I mean, the pink is rare, I have to say. It is the little hook. Um, so I am gonna say $30 on this because this is this is a rare color. I don't come across the pink. It's like blue, clear, most, most often. Blue, second most often. But when I get to the pinks, the reds, and the purples, those are like rare, I barely ever. So I'm going to say 30 on this pink necklace. And then, oh God, with those AB crystals. Holy cow. Ha! Huh, love it. So 30 on the Barbie pink necklace. I am drooling. Drooling. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a cool, almost like gripois brooch. And this brooch is also a um a, like a slide so you can open it if i can yeah so you can open this like this and put it on a necklace and then you've got the pin back and then look at that it's gorgeous and then you've got earrings pierced earrings that go with it so i'm gonna say um and these this is newer this is definitely gives me like a 90s vibe could be like late 80s, early 90s vibe. I really like this set. Looks brand new too. Doesn't have any wear or anything. Super pretty. Love the jewel tones. Um, I'm gonna say 30 on this set. This is a really cool set. And love. It's pierced. It's pierced. You know, you either love pierced or you 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 hate it. Like, I am not a fan of pierced. So, um, okay, next, these are cool jewel tone. Um, I, I would call, this would be like more of like a topaz, and that is the back. And we're gonna say $10 on these. I love this bracelet. I have to say, I actually wore this bracelet out the other day. It is, um, it's really, a, it's cool. It's, I have a seven inch, like I, I comfortably wear a seven inch bracelet and this was very comfortable on me. It is a little off in this, like it, this isn't centered, which it didn't bother me on but it's just the way that it is, I guess. I don't know. But really cool AB stone in the center. Big, huge AB crystal. And then it just wraps around. And I'm going to say, um, because it's not centered, I, I guess, although it didn't really bother me and, and didn't look weird or anything on. Um, but I'm going to say 15 on this because it's not centered. I guess. Yeah, I'm sure it would bother people, some people. Um, so this necklace is, um, another AB. This one is weird. Maybe, maybe I'm going to say we're not going to do this one because it's got a weird, this is a jump ring clasp. Oh, I guess that's okay. Somebody definitely changed the clasp on this. So this is this will be an as is. Um it's a jump ring. 
which was dumb of somebody to do. I mean, who puts a jump ring on a necklace like this? Oh. I can swap the clasp belt. As is this necklace, double strand, Swarovski crystal, AB crystals, um, as is like this, I will do it for $10. If you want me to swap this clasp out and put, I probably have a hook or I could at least do a lobster claw on here. I don't know. But I might be able to put a hook on here at least. I don't I don't really understand what they did. Um ten dollars as is though. If you want me to fix the clasp, then message me and then we'll come up with something because it's gonna take me some time and effort to do that. Um so but ten dollars on this necklace as is. And um it will go as long as uh, 16 and a half inches. Um, there is this one too. Now this one is special. It is a box clasp that is sterling. So, um, So this box clasp, if you look, it might be better just to do this. Yeah. It's sterling. Crazy, huh? That is, I've never seen that actually in a necklace like this before. Uh, it tells you how old it is, that's for sure. Um, although it's, I mean, it's definitely, it's gotta be 1956 or later. Um, why is it 1956 or later? Anybody know? Quiz time. 1956 is when Aurora Borealis beads came to exist. Or the Aurora Borealis coating on crystals because that is when Swarovski invented it um so don't let anybody tell you that it you know this crystal or this brooch aurora borealis brooch or something is from the 1940s or 30s or whatever it could not have been um so it's at least 1950s um it could have been this clasp could be older and then it was restrung with these beads that is definitely a possibility um because this just seems like an odd combination um but this necklace it's definitely nicely done this necklace with the sterling clasp i'm gonna say um i'm gonna say 25 on that one because it is still nice very that. nice though um, black leaf brooch with the center. It is definitely made to look like Juliana. Um, and we're going to say uh, 24 on the black leaf with the AB center. Look how cool that is. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous black leaf brooch. Um, we have a scarf clip. Paisley scarf clip, and I'm gonna do $8 on the Paisley scarf clip. That is the back of it. It is pretty darn cool. I love that one. And then, got another earring we'll set over here until we find some mates, earring mates. Um, oop, we got a cute little blue. We're gonna say $5 on the little blue wreath. We got a, this is another cute one. Look at that little wreath, this little flower wreath. That is adorable. This flower wreath, let us say, let's say $10 on that little flower wreath. 
Oh, we're getting to SMC in the end. I know this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but I just wanna to get to the end of it. Check out that AB wreath. Whoo, that is just stunning. Uh, let's say 20, 20 on this one, 20 on the AB, AB wreath. I love that. Um, that, we need to find the mate on the earring. Here we have another Czechoslovakia ring. This has a beautiful emerald center or, you know, emerald green center. And this does have, I believe it says Czechoslovakia. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's Western Germany. Doesn't that say Western Germany? It sure does. I think they're close together, right? So this is Western Germany. Look at that, that is super pretty. Love this one. So we will do 20 on this ring. This is also one you can adjust. You can go in or out with this one. Love that ring. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous ring. This is a cool ring, uh, necklace. This is similar to, I think, another one that I had in maybe the first video. Um, look at that. It is also green and that one is super pretty. It kind of has that look of almost like a brutalist kind of look. Really cool. Um, let's see. I don't think this has a maker on it. No, no marks on this at all. It is just really, really different and unique and kind of like, it gives it kind of like a, almost like a, I don't know, looks very, uh, like that's almost like coral or something, kind of like a, like from the earth. And this is a probably, uh, I would say 16 inches in length that is really pretty so we have 16 inch necklace right there and this is a really pretty rose quartz and then I'm not positive what that stone is I forgot what the name of it but this is a beautiful just rose quartz long necklace and this is um, 26 inches in length so rose quartz necklace, 26 inches in length, and we're gonna say $28 on that one. Um, let's see. Oh, look, we got a tiny little crown lingerie pin. Look at that, isn't that just absolutely adorable? And we'll say um, $3 on this little lingerie pin. Love the crown. This is a pretty little earring set. The little crystals. And uh, no, no marks on here. Yeah, no marks or anything. I can take those pads off too. Um, but this is a really pretty little crystal set. So we're gonna say $10 on those earrings. Got another little tiny pin. I don't know if this would be considered lingerie or not. It's just little, um, and we'll say $5 on this one. Um, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty little amethyst necklace. So we've got a beautiful amethyst color um, necklace here and is this marked do not see any markings on this one let me get a measurement and put it on my little neck um, this one measures about 14 inches and goes on the neck This one's very pretty. 
So there it is on the neck. And we'll say 26 on this one. This is another rare, more rare color. It does not have the AB, so, um, you know, maybe it's not quite as desirable, but it still is really pretty. Um, I love that amethyst color and these little larger stones are really nice. So 26 on the amethyst. This is pretty, kind of like a shooting star in the amethyst or in the emerald. That's really gorgeous. I love that. Holy cow, that's really pretty. Um, we'll say, uh, We'll say 18 on the shooting star. Love the shooting star. Okay, this set is really stunning. Look at this. It is a really pretty leaf. Look at that leaf. With the AB stones and the different shades of green. Look at that, gorgeous. And then it has these leaf earrings. I love this set. It is so pretty. So the leaf earrings and then this leaf brooch. Um, we're gonna say, um, we'll say 40 on this set. This is really, really, really pretty. So we're gonna say 40 on this, this set. It is literally amazing. And an it's also another set that I really feel that it's somebody. Like it's got those little cupcake holders. I don't know, it's just really cool. Nice facets on there too. God, I love that one. It is so pretty. Um. Okay, where are we? Oh, here we go. Another really, really gorgeous necklace. This is Weiss too. Um, so this is marked Weiss on the back. Weiss. Look at this. Look at that. It is blue. It is AB. It is... Fourteen inches. And, oops, if I can get it to, if I can get it to hook on my neck here, get it, we'll be good. Coordination is everything, right? All right, there it is. Whew, look at that. That is a stunner. Wow. So this waist necklace is it's everything, wow. So the Weiss necklace, we're gonna say 30 on the Weiss necklace. Um, and that's, it's signed. You don't see, I don't I don't get many signed necklaces, that's for sure. Check out the little shoe, the AB shoe brooch. Oh my God, that's super cute. Um, we'll say, uh, we'll say $8 on the shoe. Here's a fun little bracelet. Is it? Oh no, it's not a fun little bracelet because it's broken. That's too bad. This is a fun little piece here. We've got a little, almost like a little bow with the emerald green. That's pretty. We'll say, uh, we'll say $8 on that one. This is a pretty little piece too. That's a pretty little piece. And we'll say, um, we'll say eight on that. That's really lovely. And okay. let's see here. Next, we have, um, still trying to match up earrings. A lot of earrings, boy. Got some, these are cute little 
clusters. We'll say $5 on these little clusters. Here is another ring. This looks like it's a check ring with the beautiful stone. I don't see any marks on it though. Um, but we'll, so we'll just say, uh, we'll say $12 on this one. It, do, it is structured just like one, but we'll say 12. Here is a faux emerald ring. This one is um, not adjustable, strangely. Um, and it is a size, let's get a ring sizer out. This is a size seven on here. It also looks like there's a mark on the inside. Let's take a look and see what it says. It's 14 karat gold electric plate. So 14 karat gold electric plated ring. So very pretty, size seven. These are some cool rings. This is another Barbie ring or Barbie earring. These are great. Look at these. Pink. A, B. Big old flowers. I love the flowers on this. I've never seen those. These are really kind of a cool look to them. And we'll say 15 on these. These are really cool. I love those. I feel like my camera's not being very nice. But I love these. These are not signed at all. So 15 on those pink AB. It's almost like a pinkish orange. Kind of crazy, but very cool. Um, this is another just a fun little loopy brooch. We'll say, um, we'll say $5 on this one. This one's kind of, you know, it's just kind of simple. I'll just say $5 on that one. This is a fun earring here. I love the green, this like light green. And then it's got the, the light green AB colors to it. Um, I guess it goes like this. I don't think it matters. It kind of looks the same either way. Um, that's really pretty. We're gonna say, um, we'll say 15 on these earrings. I love those. Here is another, oh, this is BSK. That's a BSK brooch. Another really pretty enameled brooch with some AB stones. BSK is pretty desirable too. This is pretty. We're gonna say 14 on the BSK brooch. Almost done. See the end. And then we'll have to match up some earrings. Um. This is a very pretty older white enameled and uh, rhinestone brooch. That's the back of it. And we'll say $12 on that one. That's earrings, earrings, earrings. We'll match those up. Let's see what we can find on those. Here's another one of those rings. Oh, this one's cool. I love these kind of uh, lithograph almost. Uh, rings or anything like this. Oh, this one's got a mark on the back. Let's see. It is West Germany. Oops, sorry. West Germany on this one. And we're going to say, uh, we'll say 20 on this one. This one's super cool. Mm -hmm. Earring, earring, earring. We're gonna just match all those puppies up in a minute. 
Here's another one of those little fun pieces. And uh, we'll say $8 on this one. This one's really unique. Here's another one of these. Boy, what did I say on the other one? Did I say eight? I think I said eight. So we're gonna say $8 on that one. Earring. This is another little brooch, kind of, um, kind of almost like a lingerie pin. So we'll say, uh, we'll say five on this one. This one's a little bit more substantial, and all of the stones are intact. They're a little, yeah, oh, they're a little off. But let's say three on this one. The stones are a little. It's just old. It's just an older brooch. We're gonna say three on that. And that's there. Oh, a couple other pieces. Sorry, my arm's in the way here. Uh, those are earrings. Those are all earrings. And then we have a hair comb that's rhinestone. We'll say three dollars on that one. Those are always nice. This is a really nice Monet chain. It's just a really long Monet, silver Monet chain. I mean, if you just really want something you know, that's just a nice link. And it's very long. It says, you know, it's Monet. It's got the little Monet tag right there. Um, and it's just, it's just long. You can hang a pendant on there. It's 32 inches long. And we'll say $8 on the Monet chain. And then this is just a really cute piece. It's, um, it's very like 1950s or something. I don't even know. Um, it says on the back here, is this another Germany one? Yeah, West Germany on the back, enameled. I mean, it's got a little bit of enameling issues, but super cute and the chain's enameled. Um, the back of it has some, you know, this kind of, thing going on and then it's got the little spring ring um but we're gonna say uh we'll say 15 on this necklace if you like this i think it's kind of fun i think it's just really different um okay let's match up some earrings here and then we're then we've got it we're done so let's see what we got going on with earrings Okay, people, what we got? I know some of these don't have matches and because I just bought, I bought just like all of them knowing that some of them don't because I'll make breaths out of them. Uh, this one's really nice. I like these uh, and we'll say, uh, we'll say 15 on those. Those are really pretty. Some of these are um, not, there's no match. Some of these are damaged too. Like there's might be a missing stone. Oh, here's a little ring. I forgot to, I forgot about this one. Um, this one's little, could be a pinky ring for somebody. Uh, this is just a base model. I did test it cause I thought maybe I could get lucky and it's silver, but it's not. Um, it's about a size five. Maybe it would be considered a five and a half, um, but it's really pretty little glass cabochons on there. So we're gonna say $8 on that little ring. Uh, check those out. I think those are pretty. Those are screw back. Um, no marks on these. Really pretty screw back earrings. And um, let's say $10 on those. Um, this, this. These are pretty. These are not marked. And we'll say $8 on those. Let's see what else we got here. These are so fun. Look at these. Those are big, huge stars. 
I love these. Love, love, love these. It does look like maybe somebody tried to repair this one. It's got like something going on funky here. It looks maybe like it could have been glue. I'm not sure. It does feel like it's in place. I'm not positive what's going on with that one. So I'm gonna say um, on these, I'm gonna say $10 on these, just because I don't really know what happened with that one corner of that star, but it looks fine. It feels fine, but I'm just gonna say $10 on these because I don't know what's going on with that corner. I love these though. And um, if you don't wanna buy them, that's okay because I will wear these myself. And let's see what else we got. Let's find some matches here, people. Matches. You probably are probably looking at the this on the screen going, I see a match. And I'm blind because I'm like trying to look past my camera. Okay, got a match right here. Those are pretty little emeralds. These are screw back. Oh, and there is a mark. That is a mark. And the mark says Coro. So Coro, screw back, emerald looking earrings. And we will say 10 on those. Cause they're little, even though they're Coro. I say 10 on those. These are, I have a match on these. I don't know about these. They are, they're screw backs. They're like a faux turquoise. They're definitely old. The screw back on one is a little wonky. I don't know about these. I'm just gonna say um, $3 on these because these are a little on the wonky side and I'm not comfortable with these. So $3, if you really like them, $3. Okay, I personally Love these. These are Sarah Coventry's. Um, I love these. This is like a really pretty like green. And um, that is the back of them. It's Sarah Coventry patent pending on the back. I love these, like beyond love these. And I'm gonna say um, 15 on these. They are literally, these are really, really nice. And you can see the, here, actually it's easier to do this. Sarah Coventry patent pending. Look at that, that's so pretty. These are literally like, like wow factor. These are nice, so 15 on those. Um. These, not sure about these. I don't know if these are something or not. They kind of look like they are, but I don't know. Um, those are really pretty. And, but I'm gonna say just $8 on these cause I don't know. They're pierced. They're pretty, they're pierced. They're cool. Uh, these look like little bugs to me. And, I think they're fun. Don't they look like little bugs? They look like little flies or something. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna say $8 on these little flies. They're fun. This is, is uh, this a say pen, patent pending? Yeah. This just says patent pending. These are um, really pretty little amethyst earrings. And they just say patent pending. These are really cool, aren't they? These are gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna say on these, let's say uh, 10 on those. I don't know, I probably should be more, but we'll just say 10 on those. Uh, do we have any more matches? There's no, no, no. That I already priced. Mm. 
Oh, we got a little one. These are cute. Another one, they look like little flies or something, little bugs. Um, we'll just say $5 on these. These are just little, little guys. $5 on those. These look like little flowers. These are cute. And uh, no marks, no marks on these. And we'll say $8 on those. These are Weiss. And um, we'll say 10 on the Weiss. They're kind of, I hate to say boring, but they're kind of, to me, these are kind of boring. So I'm going to say 10 just because my own personal preference of earrings. Um, hmm. Wow, a lot of unmatched earrings on this set. Okay, I guess we blew through all of them. Okay. Nice. All right. We got through everything. I hope that this wasn't too, too long. And you guys made it through the end with me. Um, if you see anything you like, definitely send me an email, send me a text and I will be able to invoice you. I invoice through PayPal. If that absolutely doesn't work for you, just let me know and I can do an alternate means of payment. That's never a problem. And uh, I do ship fairly quickly, usually by the next day. And I can definitely make sure that you get taken care of. And thank you guys so much for sticking with me and visiting and uh, visiting my, my YouTube channel. Make sure that you do hit that subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And um, make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Thank you guys so much for joining me and we'll see you on the next video. I can't wait to bring it to you. Thanks so much, you guys. You all have a wonderful day. Thanks everybody, bye.